Hey folks, my name is Greg Uchak. Welcome to Renovate Ottawa. This is season one, episode two, where we're going to be talking about cityscapes or the changing cityscape of Ottawa in the Ottawa area. Here we are, we've just entered onto the 174 from Orleans. To the left, you can see the construction of phase two of, of the O-Train Transit Way. This is the Confederation Line. So we're heading downtown to see some of the changing landscape of Ottawa. Here we are driving in, now on the 417, driving, gonna be driving through the heart of the city. As you can see where we're driving up onto the downtown core. You can see the cityscape here, apartments to the left. I've renovated many apartments in some of those buildings to the left. Coming up on the right to the downtown core. Here you can see we're driving up on to the Museum of Nature. Once at uh, one time was the Museum of Man. It got moved over to the Quebec side. The history of this building, when Parliament Hill burnt down in the early 19th century or 1900s, this building was built out of the remains of that, uh, that building, out of the old Parliament Hill building. So here we are, we're on Albert Street heading west, which is over top of the Confederation line. So the subway system part of that transit way is below us. And we're heading to some of the soon to be iconic changes in the landscape of Ottawa, the Breton Flats, where we will see the, the site of the Trinity Project, which is going to be a series of uh, skyscraper is a 65 footer which will be the tallest I believe a 55 and a 45 uh, not sure if that I think that's correct as you can see to the left there's many condominium projects being built throughout the city not just the downtown core there's one but as we Go get to the bottom of Albert Street here. We'll be entering La Breton Flats, the new home to the Trinity Project. This is the, the home of the Trinity Project, where will be some of the tallest buildings in Ottawa. So here we are coming up to the base of these two skyscraper buildings, the Soho to the right and the Claridge Icon to the, to the left, which is a 45 story condominium building. These buildings overlook Little Italy and the downtown core to the north and to the south, Dow's Lake. Now there are many iconic locations throughout the city for renovation projects. So I'll talk a little about it. Right now we're driving through the Glebe which is an older area of the city. That's an iconic area for, for renovation projects in the past. But there are many areas throughout the city that are great locations for those of you who want to, uh, to buy a property and redevelop it or renovate it and, and then gain some, uh, some equity into that project. The Glebe used to be one, it's kind of overpriced now. New Edinburgh, Rockcliffe, Westboro, Alta Vista, which has been, they've been doing that in the Alta Vista area for since the 70s. There are many areas throughout the city where if you have a renovation, and you can renovate a property in any area of the city, but if you're looking to gain market value and equity, there are certain areas of the city where it's more prone to, uh, to a successful project, you know, from a economic standpoint, from a, for making a for making a profit on the renovation, so the the renovate Ottawa show, for the most part, is a show about renovating. Obviously, I've been renovating properties for over forty five years. Everything from you know condos to apartments and high rises to townhomes to garden homes to custom homes and everything in between. If you're looking to renovate a property, whether it be your kitchen bathrooms, your basement, 
the overall project. Maybe you're a flipper and you bought a property to redevelop. I would love to showcase your project on my show. Give me a call, send me a message, and let's get together and I'll host your renovation project. For today's show, you know, I gave you a, a little look at a cityscape, the changing cityscapes of the Ottawa area. Here we're looking up, we're coming up on Carleton University, where there's always many changes going on there. It's one of the locations. Sandy Hill used to be also be a good area to buy and renovate. It's kind of uh, overdone at the moment, but it's home to Ottawa University. Great area for rental, uh, student rental renovate, student rentals actually. Okay, folks, stay tuned now as I'm going to take you down uh, memory lane of, uh, of a renovation project I did last year. I had mentioned earlier that uh, I was going to walk you through a renovation project I did about, uh, well, in 2017. It was called the Smoked Out Condo. But I don't have access to that video footage at the moment, so we're going to walk you through a duplex renovation that I did last year. So here you can see where I started walking you through, where on the left you can see the finished product of a ensuite bathroom that we put in this three-bedroom upper unit of this duplex. And to the right, you can see where I started out with the framing phase, where this bathroom was located was, used to be the closet in that third bedroom, which is now going to be the ensuite. So we framed out the closet, or we framed out for the bathroom where the closet used to be. There you can see shots to the right of the closet. We also stripped all the exterior walls of the drywall, and then we redid the insulation. So you can see shots of that. There's a shot of the floor of this ensuite bathroom that we did. <clears throat> so here we're gonna pan around. So uh, on the left, you'll see the finished unit where we had a refinished floor, put in new doors. On the right, you can see where we had stripped out the drywall, re-insulated, obviously started boarding. So in the kitchen area, we Relocated the laundry. It used to be down the hallway in an awkward spot. So we're making a new laundry area in part of the dining room. So on the left, you can see where we put in some new cupboards and we put in stuff. To the right, you can see where we've started putting up new drywall, refinishing the unit with new drywall, reinstalling all the trim. There's the ensuite bathroom drywalled out with blue board. To the left, you can see the shot of the kitchen, which we, they, they were existing cupboards in this section here, but we painted them out. They used to be like an oak stained uh, type cabinet. So we painted them out to match the new cabinets where the uppers were white and the lowers were gray. We left the existing countertop. It's not quite a match, but we left that because this is a rental unit and at some point he might change that. And we redid the backsplash. So that, you know, it's, all, it's the idea is to have it all match. So here we are. We're going to pan around. This will be the full screen where we're showing you the finish of the unit. Finish of the kitchen, the laundry, stackable washer, dryer. Okay, in this interlude section, if you uh, are a sponsor and are looking for a place to put your, your advertising, this would be it. Here I am, I'm showing you a, a book I wrote called Rehabbing for Profit. Contact me for details on how you'd like to buy it. So now we're downstairs in this duplex renovation. Now this originally started, there was a torrential downpour in August, which flooded out the basement. Insurance came in, now what happened is it backed up the sewers, which backed up into the unit. So I was hired to come in. The insurance came in and gutted everything. The owner hired me to come in and renovate the unit to reinstate everything. So as you can see to the left where you can see all the finished work that was done, new floors, new drywall, because the bottom two feet all the way around on every single wall was gutted. So we had to reinstate uh, drywall, insulation, trim, flooring, new closet doors. This is the two bedroom unit, so it has, um, it used to have a powder room, so we removed the powder room, and in the in the uh, main bedroom we put in an ensuite, 
three piece. So there's got a corner shower, a new vanity. Underneath that vanity is actually the access to the water shut off and main sewer lines, which we I which I put in a backwater valve. So what we wanted to do going forward, this unit should never flood due to the sewers backing up because they can see there we put in a backflow preventer. Scan up a little bit, you can see the valve to the shutoff for the actual water lines. This is where it comes into the house. So we use this location in the bathroom, the new bathroom, and we hit it underneath the vanity because that's all we could do to make this uh, ensuite bath work. So now this is a new two bedroom unit. Well, it's existing, but renovated with now with an ensuite where it didn't have one before. So it makes the property more marketable. So you can see where I did new click flooring over top of new uh, dry core subflooring. We come into the main unit, see, uh, we re basically, those are new bathroom or new sliding door kits that were put in, but we reused most of the doors. We just repainted everything. All new trim, all new baseboard trim is put down. And here we go. Now we're taking a look to the left is the ensuite bath and to the right is the, is the kitchen, which I had originally renovated this unit about two, three years ago, and we put in this new kitchen and new floors, but then it all had to get fixed after this flood. So I come back into, so this is a scan of the existing kitchen to the right. So it's all the same appliances, all the same cupboards, but we had to re-level the cupboards. We had to redo the subfloor, redo all new flooring. So that's the kitchen, the, the new ensuite bathroom to the left the renovated, reinstated kitchen to the right. Okay, so here I blew up the kitchen so you have a better look at it. Let's pan back here. You can see it's uh, all reinstated, new flooring. Back up here, we're gonna pan around. That's up the staircase because it's a basement unit. This is the existing bathroom. There's where we had put in a floor drain. The floor drain was there and it, what we did is we installed a sump pump. So we've got three three systems in place here. Now we have the backflow preventer on the main line. We have a sump pump if it ever overflows. And we have a backflow preventer in the bathroom floor drain. So here we are. As you can see, all the finishing is done. We have a new carpet runner coming down the stairs. All the doors and hardware is installed. All the baseboard. As you can see, there's vents in the floor. You have to vent these subfloor systems so that uh, moisture doesn't get trapped. Another vent there. So that wraps up the uh, that duplex renovation. But here I'm just going to quickly run you through. These are a bunch of kitchens and bathrooms. Some of them from this unit. Other uh, properties that I worked on. I've done many kitchens and bathrooms throughout the years. So if you have a project that you're looking to renovate, I'd love to host it on my showcase and I'll on Renovate Ottawa. Could be a kitchen, could be a bathroom, could be a, a long flip. So think about that. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Stay tuned as we have more upcoming shows. If you're interested in purchasing my book, contact me. Look for details in the posting below for rehabbing for profit. Give you some insight in, in how you can learn how to rehab how to renovate uh, properties. So I'm hoping you're having a great day. Stay tuned for Renovate Ottawa. As always, you have a great day. You keep crushing it.